Hey guys, Phil Yumus here, and today we're checking out Azumarill, not Wigglytuff. I know it's, it's it shows up as Wigglytuff on the screen here, right guys? But it, it's actually Azumarill. Azumarill's in the game. It's not fully finished yet, but they did part of it in the game. Enough of where we can data mine and look at its kit. Big shout out to the people at Unite API for making this happen. Check the description below for their tool. Unite API is the place where you can search up your match history. You can search up the enemies you play against, the teammates you play with, and have lots of data on there on everything Pokemon Unite. So make sure to check that out. Now we're about to have a look at its uh, move set and abilities here. So it levels up at level five, as you can see. All right, let me, let me pause it. Let me, let me go through it so you guys can uh, get a better understanding real quick. First up here, it starts at, um, it's it has one evolution only, if you guys don't know the games, and it's Azumarill, and it's level five. So it doesn't start as the baby evolutions. There's no baby Pokemon in Pokemon Unite. So level five, you evolve. And then here's your moves. At levels one and three, you get your moves. Okay, I figured it would be uh, uh, one and most Pokemon get their moves at levels one and three. Only a select few get it at one and two. Duralien, um, uh, interestingly enough, gets it at one and two, I think, right? So it has Tackle and Bubble for its first two moves. Let's keep checking out. Level five, it gets Whirlpool, and I think that's, it, it gets Whirlpool, or I'm gonna assume what's that, Aqua Tail, maybe? Yeah, Whirlpool, you see all the all the bubbles go around it. It's actually also named as well. And this other one, it looks like Aqua Tail. You see how it's using his tail to make like slash motion? So you pick, choose between Whirlpool and Aqua Tail here at level five. And then at level seven, you get your final move. This one I know is Play Rough. And then this one is, I think, Aqua Jet. You get between Play Rough and Aqua Jet. Pretty interesting. We're, we're gonna show these in a bit. And then here's your Unite move. It doesn't say what it is, and I honestly don't know what it is yet. I'm reacting to it just the same as you guys, so we're gonna check it out in a bit. There's the Unite move. But yeah, here we're getting in the game here. As you can see, it says Azumarill here, but it still has the Wiggly's icon. Hmm. And we're just checking out in practice tool right now to see its abilities and all that. Let's go. So as you can see, all the animations are a little bit off. As you can see, but look, so Meryl is just gliding. Look at this. He's just gliding around. It's pretty funny. Um, surprisingly enough, every auto attack crits. I don't know if that's because of like the passive huge power or something. But as you, if you're noticing, it might be a bug as well, but every single attack crits. All right, so every three hits is an enhanced auto. It just kind of looks like a pretty normal enhanced auto. It's like a big slash. All the sound is off too for the Pokemon. There's Bubble, it's like a wide cone move. Kind of like the Sigilwai's um, uh, Leafage move, I think, right? Where it's like a wide cone, doesn't do much damage. It's a little bit closer range, and you can move while doing it, too. Okay. I'm assuming it slows, though. Bubble, yeah, it has the little CC indicator. Let's pause here. Moves with this little indicator means it incorporates some sort of crowd control, either slows or stunning effects. So I'm sure the Bubble uh, applies a slow. And it has Tackle, too. Kind of like Greedent. Yep. Yeah, everything is critting right now. Again, I don't know if that's a bug. You see attacking Pikachu here. <laughs> Just autoing him down. All these crits, are, if it ends up being a Pokemon that runs, that like has permanent crit, Scope Lens is guaranteed a must have on it then. Nice. Yeah, because of that, that wide enhanced auto, it looks like it does the bees uh, pretty well. So we're first checking out Whirlpool here. Whirlpool is you turn it on and here, look, there's a zoomer at level five. And it just has like a long AoE around you, the, the Whirlpool. Let's see its damage. Does it do decent damage here? Let's check it out. Let's go for the score. Again, there's no animations. As you see, there's no animations for any of the moves at all. Yeah, it's just gliding around. They're not in the game yet. Mm. All right, let's check out Whirlpool in a sec here. So Tackle is still the same. Whirlpool for about like... Whirlpool for about like, wow, like five seconds, dude. The, the water goes around you. It's very good in a team fight. You jump in a team fight, you keep that on, you constantly keep hitting people. And it, it looks like it, it does a decent amount of damage. It does like 150 damage a tick. It does a decent amount. We're gonna test that out on dummy here, maybe? No. Yep, as you see, pretty good damage. Oh, we got level seven, so we got play rough as now uh, as well now too. So now we're, we're checking out play rough and Whirlpool. So we press play rough. Oh, okay, I got it. Play rough 
increases your move speed when you press it, and your next auto attack becomes kind of like a dash, and it stuns someone, it seems. Kind of like how uh, Mammal Swine's autumns can stun you. This one, it's a dash, and it like teleports you, and stuns you, and hits you a few times. Okay, pretty good CC tool. It's on a really low cooldown, though, Playrough. See that? It's on like a six second cooldown, and if you use it to run in, it goes on cooldown immediately. The second you press it, it goes on cooldown. So you can use it to run in, hit them, and they'll be on like a two second cooldown, and then you hit them again. It looks like. Okay, so interesting. So here's the play rough and uh, whirlpool variation. Still, it's very early on in development, so there's not much to really look at. This Pikachu is just getting murdered here <laughs> by all the crits. Maybe uh, Zoom Rail's ability is actually huge power. And it actually is the crits. That would be interesting if it's a perma crit Pokemon, right? Yeah. Because even with the crits, it doesn't look like it's doing that much damage. That makes me think that it is part of the ability, you know? Because its damage seems pretty fair, even with the crits. Alright, so we got the Unite now. I have no clue what the Unite does. Here's another score. This breaks, okay. Alright, let's see when we have the Unite coming out. We just got it. Maybe it's like an enemy targeted Unite. Let's see. Play Rough's coming out. Alright, let's see if I can go ahead and find the part where we unite. So we score. Do some more Bs. Let's go, let's go. Oh, here we go. Here's the unite coming out. Alright, let's get ready for this. Let's watch this. Let's see how this unite works. It looks like it's a targeted move. Wait, what? Wait, we gotta see that again. What did that just do? So it's it's a targeted move, right? You target them. And then you like jump to them. You jump to them and you deal a little bit of damage. It didn't look that powerful there, the Unite. Okay. We have Whirlpool Plus. Let's, let's see, does Whirlpool Plus do anything here? Whirlpool Plus is at 11, if I'm correct. Alright. Let's see, Whirlpool Plus. Mm -mm. So, Play Rough's coming out, Whirlpool Plus. It. Maybe it lasts longer. I can't really tell what Whirlpool Plus does. I assume it just means it does a little bit more damage. Let's go ahead and check out the Play Rough Plus. Let's see if we get any inf intel on that. Do we get another Unite usage here? I want to see what that Unite does. Right, so here we got Play Rough Plus. Let's see. Let's see if Play Rough Plus does anything different. Yeah, it looks so funny, dude. Yeah, I don't know what that Unite does. The Unite seems fairly low impact, no matter what it does. Yeah, it seems like a fairly low impact Unite. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I don't know what Play Rough Plus does. I'm, they might just both be boring and just do more damage. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they both just do more damage. It doesn't seem like the, the plus effects are too crazy. All right, let's keep going here. Let's see, we use the Unite one more time. We're soloing Zapdos here. I think we do use the Unite again. That Whirlpool does a number on Zapdos. Yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really... The Unite is fairly low impact. I can't even tell what it does. It looks like you target someone and you jump to them. And maybe there's a little bit of a knock-up. Okay, so that's the first move set here, okay. So, um, just to recap real quick, going back here. You get your moves at level 5 and 7. You evolve at level 5. You evolve level 5, you get your first move at 5, your second move at 7. Your initial moves are at 1 and 3. And we just checked out the Whirlpool set. Now we're going to check out the Aqua Tail set. And the Aqua Jet set, I think it is. So this move is actually ranged. It's pretty interesting, okay. So let's go ahead and check it out here. Here is the second set. There you go, we get level 5. This time we try out Aqua Tail. Okay. Aqua Tail is like a 2 hit move, it looks like. It's kind of like Trevenant, maybe? Or like a 3 hit move? Let's see that again, actually. Let's see. Aqua Tail. 
Oh, okay. So you press it and it makes your next three auto attacks like crazy enhanced, as you can see there. It, it, it's from the looks of it, it was auto attacks. I can tell it's not like a straight up cast. You guys notice here. Notice here when we casted it, right? Pause, you see we casted here, it didn't immediately go. It waited, see, it waited to auto attack. It is Aqua Tail. Look, his tail is glowing. I guarantee you that's Aqua Tail. And then when he autos, the first two are, are wide swings, and then the last one is like a big frontal attack. But none of it has CC though, as you see. None of the bees got knocked up. It's a pure damaging move. Kinda like a little bit like Serena's triple uh triple axle, I guess, right? So no CC on it whatsoever, okay. Oh here's Dragon. Here we go. I just, wow, that last one does a lot of damage, though. Especially since all the moves are critting. The last one does, like, triple the damage. Okay. And increases your auto attack range, too. You see that? Not only does it give you three enhanced autos, it increases the range. Once you activate it. Alright, so we're about to get the other move here in a sec. Yep, Aqua Tail, very interesting. Here we go. Now we're getting Aqua Jet, which is, I think it is, Aqua Jet or Hydro Pump. Yeah, it looks like Aqua Jet to me. You shoot a thing forward and you dash forward. Again, another fairly low impact ability, it looks like. So bees are coming up. Let's see how it does on the bees. Is it slow or something? Oh, what? You can push yourself away with it too. You saw that? You can shoot it forward and jump away somehow. I don't know how that works. All right, here we go. We have it again. Okay, it gives you a little bit of a dash. It shoots and then gives you a little bit of a dash, it looks like. Okay, Aqua Tail is definitely the more damaging of the abilities. Or at least more burst damage. Whereas Whirlpool probably has more sustained damage. Alright, let's go ahead and do, try and go to another Unite move. See if we can figure out what that does. Mm. Here we go, we use the Unite again here. Let's check this out. Kill Rotom. Here we go. So Unite, yeah, you just jump in with the Unite and you knock them up a little. And that seems to be it. It doesn't seem to do anything else other than that. It's just a little jump in move, you know? It's kind of like, you know, the first part of Greedence Unite where he jumps in and he just like, hits an area. It's probably something like that. Okay, let's see if the plus moves do anything here. Or is there, does it do anything that we can notice? Oh, it seems like we got the plus moves. I didn't notice when we got it. I see we notice what the plus moves do on Zap. See, we're hitting the dummy. Let's check this out. Yeah, this is a pretty good amount of damage late game. Yeah. You critting every auto. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Let's see if we notice anything with this fight here. Yeah, maybe the Unite's a fast charging Unite like Aegislash since it's kind of low impact. Let's see. Not like Duraladin though. Not like Duraladin Unite. Here's the Unite. It locks onto someone and it jumps onto them. Okay. Maybe no matter what it does, once it locks onto someone, it, it always follows them. Even if they eject away or whatever. Kind of like if you play League of Legends Vi, where it locks onto someone. Yeah, your range is really big when you have the Aqua Tail on. I can't tell what Aqua Tail Plus or, or Aqua Jet Plus does. Okay. That seems to be it for Azumarill here, guys. That's all the info we have now, guys. As you can see, it's still not fully developed, so we're gonna circle back and go back to the front here. Azumarill, all right, it levels at level five. It's an all-rounder, a melee all-rounder. And everyone always asks how much coins is gonna cost. It's probably gonna cost 10,000 coins. Like the last like five, six characters that came out cost 10,000 coins. It will probably cost 10,000 coins, 575 gems. M maybe it'll cost 8,000, but I'd say with 80% certainty, it's gonna cost that much or they're gonna give it out to you for free. And then you get your moves at level one and three here. Maybe I'm blocking so you guys can't see. So I'll turn off my webcam for a sec. Ooh, yep. There you go. Turn off my webcam for a sec. Um, oh, but it doesn't show, huh? If I click out, it shows my recordings. Okay, let's turn this off. Mm. Turn off my webcam and then go back here.
Okay, see, it, get, it gets moves at levels 1 and 3. At level 5, it gets the next move here. And at level 7, it gets this. Good stuff, good stuff. And then at level 9, you get your Unite. Boom. All right, so that is Azumarill. A little bit of a scuffed uh, preview here compared to what I usually do, which is on stream, guys, all right? Um, this time, we got the recording of it um, because it's kind of broken. The character's a little bit broken, as you can see. All the animations and stuff are off. But at least we got you guys that early info, all right? Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to subscribe, turn the bell on, so you never miss out on some of this uh, beginner, not beginner, this super early exclusive content, all right? I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.